Schechter for Senate, the other honest politician. Hello, my name is Eric Schechter, and I'll be on the ballot this November. I'm running for the U.S. Senate. I'm running in Tennessee, but this video may interest people in other states, too. My campaign is very unconventional in several ways. First of all, I don't want your money. Second, I might not even ask for your vote. I'll explain both of those things in a moment. And third, I'll begin by talking about the campaign someone else is running somewhere else. The average cost of a U.S. Senate campaign is $10 million. That's already way too much. But in Kentucky, the Republicans and Democrats are spending $100 million. To call attention to that fact, fictitious candidate Gil Fulbright is running a satire campaign against them. That isn't his real name, and he won't actually be on the ballot, but he's making some funny videos. He says quite bluntly that if he wins the election, he intends to sell out the voters. He will just serve the big donors. You'll find his videos if you Google Honest Gil or The Honest Politician. I agree with Gill that money in politics is a terrible problem. It has increased because of recent Supreme Court decisions, but it has always been a big problem. We have all these unnecessary wars because the weapons manufacturers are big lobbyists. Prices for medical care are high because the insurance companies and drug manufacturers are big lobbyists. Protections of our environment are ineffective, and increasing ecocide may soon kill us all because the companies doing the most polluting are big lobbyists. Wages are falling, even while productivity is rising, because corporations are big lobbyists. Lobbyists and regulators are separated, not by a wall, but by a revolving door. They're best friends. Some are even more cozy than that. Some members of Congress have spouses with big investments affected by congressional decisions. They're supposed to represent us, but they're nothing like us. Most of them are millionaires. No wonder capital gains and other kinds of rich people's money are taxed at a much lower rate than ordinary people's money. Some organizations are seeking reforms. Move to Amend is seeking a constitutional amendment to overturn those recent Supreme Court decisions. I'd be glad if that worked, but I'm not optimistic about it. Just look at what happened to the 14th Amendment. It was written to protect the rights of freed slaves, but it has been twisted around into protection for corporations. Why does anyone believe a new amendment would fare any better? Laws are only as good as the society and culture standing behind them. We need a big cultural change. We'll have difficulties as long as our society is based on profit and shopping. Those separate us from one another. Crazed gunmen are shooting up our schools and our shopping malls, and authoritarian stormtrooper police are shooting unarmed teenagers. But we don't shoot our friends. Why can't we all be friends? Together, we need to figure out how to care about one another. If I get elected, I'll try to pass laws reflecting that spirit. But that kind of change doesn't come from the legislature. It comes from the people. So really, though I'd like to get elected, I'm more interested in using this campaign to spread ideas. You can find my ideas at leftymathprof.org. I believe politics should be about ideas, not about fundraising. So I'm running a zero-money campaign. I'm not requesting or accepting any money from anyone. I made this video for free. It doesn't look professional because it isn't professional, but I count that as a plus. Because it's zero money, you won't see this video or my name mentioned in any paid advertisements in TV or radio or newspapers or robocalling or mass mailing, which means many voters have never heard of me yet. And so the few who have heard of me might believe a vote for me is a wasted vote. Well, surprise, I'm not asking for votes. At least, not yet. Here are the two things that I am asking. First, if you like this video, urge other people to watch it. Not necessarily to vote for me, but just to watch the video. Of course, what I'm hoping is that the idea will spread. But imagine that, 
voters talking with other voters. That would be a revolutionary change in our culture. I don't know if that change is going to happen this year, but I'm trying to encourage it. And second, before the election, check how many times this video has been viewed. If that number has gotten big, then I have a chance of winning, and then I hope that you'll think about voting for me. And if I don't win, well, at least a few more people will have heard my message, and I'll count even that as a little victory. Peace and be well.